way to Carp Cove. We thought we'd create this to help to raid it. And this is a one-way road down 4.3 miles off of the Highway 93 on 1st Street. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> well, we've turned off uh, onto Coyote Road. Now we're headed down to the next road. <laughs> Did you take your Class 8 down this road? <laughs> That's a little bumpy. Oh, jeez. Headed to Boondock again. Oh, my. We might have to unhook the car. This could be trouble. This could be trouble. Oh, and steady. Whoa. We have to turn around. Scott's directing us. We have to turn around because, yeah, we can't get through. So now we are, it's getting dark, and we were rerouted and went to another, like a little roadway, highway, 135, and now it's going almost straight down. Scott went to check out with the car, but we had to unhook again. And here it comes. Up the hill. Oops. Showing me how to take this corner. Last night we came in and wanted to get down to Carp Cove. The road in. Oh, that's the mountains, obviously. There's where we ended up parking. Way off right about here. Things look a lot different during the day. There's the road. But, uh, so, here's where we park for the night. Break off in the distance. It's kind of nice that there's BLM land in the park. Oh, but look at the road. This is the road that we would have gone down, and it's <laughs> Make it down because it's downhill. <laughs> Just take a drive down here. So far we have driven about five and a half, six miles. We're still not. I think we had a fifth wheel or a small pull trailer or even a class B, maybe even a class C motorhome. You could get down here. Getting up might be a little challenge. But it is beautiful. Don't see any other campers down here. Made it down to Carp Cove, and it's gorgeous. Two or three, four different campsites right here in the cove, up in the bushes over there. But you can see the water, it's nice. It's bad we can't bring our rig down here because this certainly is beautiful. No doubt about it. Protected, no big waves. Out in the open water, it's a lot of waves. Coming down here, not bad once we get past that bad first part. About a mile of road up on the top of the hill. Pretty rough. Down here, pretty nice and warmer. Come up the final hill from Carp Cove and Airport Cove and Pot Cove. And it's fairly decent. There's about a mile of rough, really, really rough stuff. And then you can see the angle at which the car is, which, you know, a 37 foot motorhome will be a whole lot longer. And I don't know. You can see it still goes uphill. That's why we decided not to do that. We saw this sign right here. That sign. Yeah. And Lori said, maybe we should check it out. We did, and it was steep, about a mile of steep and grossness that the RV wouldn't have liked. So we parked it there for the evening. So certainly glad I listened to her. Now we're heading out and gonna go over to a different place. And we're just getting out of here now. I'm having Lori back it on out. I'm gonna back out of the street there. And here she comes back in a little bit. Yeah, she's doing a pretty good job. Now we're disrupting ordinary, all right. And that there is what you got to deal with in an off-angle area. Yeah, come on back. Digging into the side of the fucking mountain. All right, now go forward. Getting yourself out of an area like this is sometimes troublesome. I do believe we have her just about out. We got a little dirt. Yeah, 
Eh, not bad. We'll dig in. We dug in a little bit. Not too bad. There she goes. Yeah, so we played a little excavation game. Got a little bit of dirt, but that won't hurt anything. Get all shook out. Shake it out. Shook it out. And then we'll hook old bad boy up. And we'll be out of here.